Are you excited for new board games? We are, and I hope you are too, because today on Roll for Crit, we're going through some recent announcements of brand new games that are coming out soon. Arcane Wonders will be publishing Aquatica from Cosmodrome Games in the US. In this game, you play as eight sea kings trying to gather resources and power in your kingdom under the sea. You'll be doing so by gathering resources in the abyss using a three-layered game board, which will have you draw up cards as you go deeper within the ocean. Combine this with the cards you'll be playing from your hand, you'll work hard to either buy or gain locations, recruit different characters, and of course, gain victory points in order to prove you are the true winner under the sea. Curious Cargo comes to us from Capstone Games, a lot of alliteration there. This is a competitive two-player game in which both players are attempting to run and maintain a cargo facility to send out various types of cargo. You'll be matching up your own pipes on your own individual board of different colors and trying to do so more efficiently and faster than your opponent. And you may even be able to send some of your cargo over to their board in order to clog up the works and make things go quicker for you. This is a head-to-head -head puzzle style game, again for two players, and it comes with six unique boards for players to use, as well as some advanced modes and variants once you get deeper into the game. Summer's here, which means many people will want to take advantage of the nice weather, but that doesn't mean you have to leave your board games inside. Exploding Kittens has brought a new version of their game Throw Throw Burrito, this time the Extreme Outdoors Edition. This is similar to the previous game, except there'll be larger cards that are on tokens that are waterproof, a nearly indestructible rulebook, and two large inflatable burritos, each three feet long. Now, like I said, this follows the original game and allows you to play outside without worry of you destroying your pieces in the pool. Now, if only I can get an actual three foot long burrito to eat. From Yellow Games, we have three brand new announcements. Katara is a strategy area control game. You'll have control of different creatures you'll be sending out to try and take on your opponents, including possibly cheetah centaurs, which is a thing that is new to us here at Roll for Crit. Uh, the more territories you control, you're going to get more cards in your hand. They'll give you more options, but you'll also have to maintain those territories. Another one is called Superfly. This is a dexterity game. There are going to be different fly cards on the table, and you will have an actual fly swatter, and you will try to swat those cards in order to claim those flies. If you go for one of the same cards as your opponent, then you defer to the die. Each one of these swatters has a die in it, and whoever has the higher number that it rolled when you swatted it down gets to take the card instead. Finally, there's Mia London and the case of the 625 Scoundrels, a name that really rolls right off the tongue. This is a deduction game. You're going to be working to figure out who is the culprit behind a mystery, and to do so, you'll have a little book uh, that you can use to flip through and change up the look and the, what types of glasses or uh, other accessories that you think the culprit might have until you're able to deduce which one is completely correct based on which items may or may not appear in other areas of the game. From Skellig Games, we have Oracle, a trick-taking game with a Greek theme. In this game, you'll be taking tricks of cards with suits of mythical creatures, but there's a bit of a twist. First off, the 1 wrap, wraps around and beats the 12, but each time you win a, a trick, whatever suit won it, you're going to get a token to give you points at the end of the game. The last token in the pile, however, will make you discard tokens of the same type, so you'll have to be careful about just winning as many tricks as you want. There's also going to be some secret oracle goals, meaning certain tricks may be worth more or less to you, depending on what goals you have. Space Cowboys has announced their next set of Unlock games. These are escape room style games that make use of an app in order for you to try to combine items and solve puzzles. This one is themed around Star Wars. There are three scenarios included, each one from a different perspective. In one, you take on the role of smugglers trying to escape from a Star Destroyer that's pulled you in. In another, you are part of the Rebellion and you're trying to get back to your base on Hoth. And finally, in the third one, you're going to be part of the Empire, and your task will be to steal a crate of kyber crystals, which the Jedi, of course, use to construct their lightsabers. So, some very different scenario setups there, but if you enjoy Star Wars and you enjoy escape rooms, this is probably one to look out for. A while back, Steve Jack and Games released Marvel Munchkin, and apparently Disney is not done with Munchkin just yet. We have now learned there's going to be a Disney Munchkin. This will include more of the core central Disney characters, 
but that same old munchkin gameplay. So you'll be collecting items, allies, and of course defeating villains in order to prove you are the best Disney munchkin. Dungeons & Dragons has a new adventure book from Wizards of the Coast, Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden. In this one, your party will be exploring the settlement of Ten Towns, which has been thrust into a permanent winter by a team of mad wizards. So it's up to you to try to encounter and confront them and take them on and hopefully defeat them without going mad yourself or being lost forever in the cold, harsh winter. Uh, you'll see if you'll be able to help the settlements out, uh, recover what they have lost, and defeat the evil Frost Maiden. Some reason, when you said instead of like a cabal of wizards, it's a team of wizards, I just imagined some like 90s villain like out of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being like, we're evil wizards and cackling. And it's actually a really a, bad they're, lines. They're wearing basketball jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> they all have numbers. It's like Space Jam. <laughs> this is actually the secret D&D &D Space Jam sequel. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a crazy one. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of insane magic shenanigans in that one. Kind of sounds... Probably want to get some ice resistance. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. A little Frosthaven-esque too, maybe. <laughs> uh, I mean, the the big one for me that that took took me by surprise this week is the Star Wars Unlock games, and we've just been playing more of the Exit games. We streamed one recently, and I I think I, I said on our podcast how I felt like you know I really like these Exit games better than Unlock, I think, in a lot of ways. And it feels like they heard that and they they put this out just to try to draw me back in. And it's going to work. I absolutely saw this and I was like, whoa, who Exit who? I don't care. I'm, I'm buying these from now on. Uh, I well, love that idea. I know how Exit can raise the stake for you and release Exit Uncharted. Oh, man. Yeah, let's, they can fight it out for the battle for my, for my love with which that, licenses they get. That's how these companies work, right? They only care about Jonathan. What does Jonathan Estes want? That's <laughs> what a lot of people are asking. I will say this, though. There, is, there actually was another big surprise for me this week, which is uh, <laughs> the big inflatable throw-throw burrito game. I have to say, as someone who uh, really has no interest in playing regular throw-throw burrito... It does sound like it would be kind of fun as a, an outdoor summer pool party kind of a game. Or even if you don't play the game, just to have these stupid burritos to throw around. <laughs> and for $30, that's not that bad. I will say, though, I'm guessing this was pre-planned to be released. And, you know, it's a little hard to get together right now, so maybe not the greatest thing but still a great idea nonetheless throw the burrito from six feet away <laughs> that's what we <laughs> recommend uh any anything else from this week jump out at you well the multi-tiered layer board from aquatica sounded very interesting i'm sure i'm curious to see how that actually works in person I don't think a, a cheetah centaur is right because I think it'd be a cheetah tar. Someone <laughs> correct me in that because I think tar is the human part unless it's half cheetah, half horse. That's a whole other issue. I don't know. These are the tough questions. <laughs> I, I did like the sound of the Superfly game too. I think that sounds really funny. Just uh, uh, the idea of having a die in your swatter that rolls. Uh, it sounded like a very, very simple kind of game, but a neat idea. And I liked the one that I'm not going to say the name of with 625 scoundrels, uh, Mia London uh, too, which also seems kind of like a simple game, but that comes from uh, Scorpion Mask, who also did Decrypto. They've done some really uh, neat, unique games. So I think that's a cool one to look for. But uh, those are some fun ones. And some of these, I think, are games that probably they had planned as Gen Con releases and are still coming out around that time period. So uh, you can pretend that maybe, maybe if you buy one of these that you're at Gen Con for real. <laughs> well, you can still check it online. So maybe if you buy one of these, find someone else online and play with them. That's a, that's a possibility. Let us know. Are you thinking about purchasing any of these? Uh, which which perspective of the Star Wars world do you want to play and unlock? Are you going to throw burritos at each other? Let us know your thoughts on any of these releases in the comments section down below. Until next time, I'm Jonathan. I'm Will. And this is Roll for Crit. Never miss out by liking and subscribing. And you can also check out more on our Patreon. We do weekly podcasts on Patreon. Don't you want to sign up and hear more of our voices?